Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Proportions. And in this video, we will help you answer the question, what value of X makes the proportion true? And you may have seen this technique. It's the butterfly technique because the proportion can look like a butterfly. And why I drew this is because you can do a cross product or a cross multiplication to solve for X. So you go 3 times 15, which is 45, equals 5 times X, which is 5X. Then all you do to solve for X is just divide both sides by 5. Okay, and these cancel, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. So X is 9. Now let's see if this makes sense or not. 3 fifths is equal to 9 fifteenths. Um, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 5 times 3 is 15. So there we go. Let's look at another example. Okay, and here we go. We have x times 18, so that would be 18x is equal to 15 times 6, and 15 times 6 is 90. Okay, so now all we do is we divide both sides by 18, and these cancel, bring down the x, and 18 goes into 90 five times. Again, we're going to check. We have 5, 6 is equal to 15 eighteenths. 5 goes into 15 3 times, and 6 times 3 is 18. So, so far so good. Let's work two more examples. Okay, now we have x times 24, or 24x is equal to 16 times 3 is 48. Divide both sides by 24. These cancel, and 48 divided by 24 is 2. Let's fill this in. 2 thirds is equal to 16 24 okay 2 goes into 16 8 8 times 3 is 24 and last but not least let's work our last one just to make sure we know how to do this we have 16 x because i went x times 16 10 times 8 is 80 divide by 16 okay x is equal to 80 divided by 16 is 5. Let's fill this in. 5 eighths is equal to 10 sixteenths. 5 goes into 10 two times. 8 times 2 is 16. Hope that helped. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.